In the other videos in this series, we've looked at how Digico's unique stealth digital processing gives users huge advantages in the real world. From its dynamic processing functions and I.O. capacity to flexibility and redundant systems. And we've also demonstrated how software extensions provide theatre sound designers a specific set of tools transforming the SD consoles into the most powerful theatre consoles available today. In a similar way, the Digico experts have done it again, and this time providing the broadcast market with a set of tools normally reserved for much more expensive broadcast consoles. Welcome to the SD broadcast range. Once again, we're building on the already expansive set of SD features with processing and software tools designed specifically for broadcast applications. So let's have a look at them in more detail. One of the bigger additions to the broadcast application is the monitor matrix. This 48 by 6 matrix allows operators to monitor up to eight full 5.1 surround sources into three speaker sets. And with options for speaker inserts, delays, and quick selection keys, it covers all the bases. Let's have a quick look on the screen at how this is implemented. In the setup menu, we have a monitoring button, and this opens our monitoring setup application. On the left hand side are eight buttons representing the eight sources, and each of these can be from mono, stereo, LCR, all the way up to 5.1 surround. And on the right hand side of the screen are the three speaker sets. And again, these can be configured at anything from mono to 5.1. If I open up the input setup for any, any of these uh, monitor sources, I can choose the mix up or mix down rules associated with them, where the input comes from. So it might be an internal surround bus or an external 5.1 source direct into the monitor matrix. And on the output side, I have exactly the same setup choosing the insert, the individual trims and delays on each of the speakers, and the setup of the actual speaker set itself. We have calibrated levels, so if you need to monitor at Dolby level, you can just do this with a single button press rather than having to dial in a specific level. Continuing along the monitoring path, another important addition to the broadcast set are the solo options, and these include the standard features you would expect, backstop PFL or overpress, auto solo, and dual AFL-PFL work surface options. If I close the monitoring panel and open up my options in the solo tab, I can see here the option to switch on my backstop PFL. And for my auto or fader PFL, the option whether it activates on the on and the off command or just will switch off uh, a solo channel. So for every application, again, you can choose how you wish to work. We're not going to tell you how you should operate. You can tell the desk how you would like to work. On the channels themselves, this is, again, very easy to operate. If I open up the input setup, at the bottom of every channel, I can choose whether the fader or auto PFL function is, is working. Um, and again, for backstop PFL, pulling down the fader at the bottom activates the PFL. On the first three channels, I have the fader PFL. So as I pull the fader down to the back, the channel will automatically solo. So it appears in my PFL mix to my small speaker. And the moment I open the channel, the PFL is cancelled and it's added it to the mix. If we turn our attention to the handling of signals, the broadcast extension offers flexibility to deal with everything from mono to 5.1 surround inputs. Easy and fast operation is essential and this allows the operator to concentrate on his mix. If we look again at the surface, I have some channels set up that handle everything from 5.1 inputs all the way through LCRS, LCR surround, stereo, and mono. Now when we're dealing with 5.1 inputs, actually it's six signals. It operates as a single fader on the surface, but actually if I want to control it, I can unfold it and this splits it to its component parts. We have left and right linked together. We have surround left and right linked together. An independent center and LFE channels. And we can operate any of these with the normal touchscreen operation with the surround panning, aux and ZQ dynamics. In the same way, the folding channels give similar control over output channels, including the unfolding of surround buses and access to the mix down and stem order. And on group outputs, we give you AUX Sends, a feature normally only available on dedicated broadcast consoles. 
on the screen here we can see a selection of buses. We have some mono buses and I have my mixed minus bus which we'll come to in a minute. We have my master 5.1 and again a series of surround. On the monos we can see the ability to dial in our aux sends directly from the screen here. And on the surround buses again I unfold them, our component parts and again aux sends. So really every function you have available to you is available on every type of channel. Another essential tool needed for broadcast is the ability to create mix minus. We've just seen the mix minus bus here. Essentially, these are mixes that don't contain specific inputs, and these are used for telephone phone-ins and satellite feeds traditionally. Now, many desks will limit the number of mixes you can create, or you have to specify at the beginning how many of these that you need. The flexibility and power of the SD engine provides a much more flexible approach, allowing users to dynamically, quickly and easily create as many feeds as they need. If I return to my input channels here, we have my telephone phone-in channels. So we've got three channels. Now, someone on the other end of the phone needs to hear the entire mix of the studio, but not themselves. And that's the mix minus, minus themselves. So if I touch the bottom of the channel and open up my bus routing, I can see here this channel feeds my mix minus bus. And by selecting the mix minus here on the second part, I can choose to subtract this channel from the mix. So very quick and easy on any channel to choose any mono bus and convert it into a mix minus bus at the press of a button. So there you have it, the SD series broadcast consoles from Digico, providing you with all the tools and processing you need at a fraction of the cost of traditional dedicated broadcast consoles.